anyways no it's not a big deal but i'm not going to put my 15 year old son driving everywhere in it and this drive shaft end up breaking while he's going down the road and it beat the bottom side of this pickup all the pieces that we're working on so i'm trying to find a new a new shaft i mean i can probably you know we could cut this off of here put a new yoke on it weld it up and by the time we do all that and get it balanced and all that, we'd have the same amount of money as we would in a new one. And I'm trying to, trying to figure out a way to get that fixed. But things just don't seem to be going our way today. So when things like that happen, it's better to just say, you know what, let's just quit and go do something else. All right, guys, we are back today in the We're back shop. in the shop working on the square body. The old K20. So tell us what you're doing today. What's so Clance, what are you doing today? Um, putting the transfer case onto the transmission and we're putting the, can you hold that? Right. I'm putting the transfer case onto the transmission and we're putting the bolts in at 40 foot pounds. You're torquing them. Torquing so. them down to 40 foot pounds. So tell up. the people out there at home that are watching, what does a torque wrench do? wrench makes it where you can put a certain amount of foot pounds on how tight you get your bolt okay yeah so let me see the wrench so what he's trying to explain is that you can set you can set your torque wrench to a certain foot pounds of torque setting and then once you get there it'll click so he's going to show you on one of these that he's as he's tightening it up i'm going to set this there so it'll hear it do the top one so they can do the top. I finish this one. Okay. So that click that you just heard is the torque wrench saying, okay, you've reached 40 foot pounds of torque or of pressure on that bolt and it stops. And the reason that we're going off of what General Motors specs show it's supposed to be, so. Um, and the reason that's important because if you tighten it too much you can break one of the housings or strip the bolts out or strip the housing out and that's that's disastrous you don't want that to happen so um, that's why it's important to, to use a torque wrench and torque those bolts to the proper setting now he's got his half inch drive torque wrench in there right now but I don't think it's going to fit in there so will that one go up to 40? the new one yes where did you put it? It was sitting right here. It's on the top. Mm -hmm. I didn't move it. It's on the ground, I'm pretty sure. That's where I put it. No, I found it. So, um, it's important when you buy a torque wrench, when you purchase one, to pay attention to. Um, so this is a 3H drive. The one he had before is a half inch drive. But, you want to be careful because like this one is rated for does it say it on here this one goes from 10 to, or, or 5 to 80 foot pounds of torque so you can only torque something up to 80 or you or you can go as light as 5 our big one starts at 30 doesn't it yes sir and goes up to like 200 so if you're if something like one of these bolts we got on the other day was like torque it to eight foot pounds or something like that or 10 well it was way too heavy for the one we got so it was like 10 to 18. here you go nine sixteenths nine sixteenths all right so let's get a nine sixteenth socket it is not in here where it's supposed to be then it's on something yeah good luck finding what it's on huh it's it well, you work on finding that while I work on getting this ready. So we're torquing to what? 40. So we're going to run this up. So on this, so this is foot pounds. And we're going to go to the 40 mark. So we're just going to keep spinning this handle up until it gets to the 40 mark. Oh, still like a little bit. 
There's 40. And then we're going to set it on the 0 and the 40. And that should, whoop, that should hold. Except I got that backed out a little bit. All right. I knew you kind of couldn't see, but I didn't know you were this blind. I guess I was looking on the half inch drive instead of the three eighths. You're right. I can't stand punk kids. You created it. Yeah, I know. I can take you out too. I brought you into this world and I can take you out. You could have done that from standing up here. It Maybe. don't fit. <laughs> Let me see it. I like it whenever he says it doesn't fit and you have to try it and mm -hmm. make sure he's not lying to you. <laughs> Sometimes he doesn't try very hard. So you have to you have to check for him to make sure that's about the same thickness. Need a little old shallow one. So we're gonna do the old That's probably good. Well that's that's a little bit tighter there. So now you're just tightening to what feels like the rest of them? Yep. Yep, pretty good. That'll work. That ain't going nowhere. If my truck falls apart. It's the bottom one. If it falls out, you really don't even have to have the bottom ones, okay? That is I'm, just, not, I'm just kidding. Do not believe that. Okay. Um, so we've got most of the drive. Well, we still got to put the, the drive shafts in, and then we'll basically have most of the drivetrain done. Um, we're, we're missing a nut i mean a uh socket socket to take a nut out of there that we got to get and i guess now we're going to start putting in u-joints how's that sound bub yay yay what's a u-joint so i'll show you right here so this is a u-joint oh the things i sent you pictures of yeah so this is your it's this always is your fun. front drive it's shaft. It's always fun when it's always fun when Cody calls and says, "Hey, go out to the shop and take pictures of this and this, measure this." I'm sitting at the auto parts store right now. Like, no pressure. Like, I know what he's talking about. So these guy, this guy is going to go. This is the drive shaft that goes from the transfer case up to the front axle that makes your four wheel drive work. And because you have an angle going down and an angle, come, you know, you've got two angles like this, you have these U-joints. So they move both directions, this way and this way, and that keeps everything in harmonious balance. Hopefully, if everything works What right. is that quote that you did not too long ago about harmonious? You remember that? You get a more, a more harmonious outcome? Yeah, harmonious that outcome. Was, that's off of... Um, What's that off of? Crossfire Trail, I believe. Dang, with I was going to tell them to name Tom that movie. Selleck. What have you been saying? No, I was going to tell the people on YouTube to name that movie out oh. in the comments, but you gave it away. Well, you can cut it out, huh? Look at that. That thing even works. Look at that. It works. So where did that come from? What? That that was in your that, that came was in out the of this truck. Drive pickup. Yeah, this this frame is the four wheel drive. Is okay. the four wheel drive truck, I and it you. came right out of there. So, but this pickup right here behind me is not. Four it's two wheel drive. drive. Yeah. So. So okay. We're gonna put that body onto this frame once we get all the wiring and all that kind of stuff done. So. I made a super cool video of this pickup just now. Did you? Yeah. I bet so. All right. Well, let's get to work. So. I'm gonna show this pickup in case right, anybody. I need to get me a drink of water. Forgot right what quick. this one looks like. So this is the donor body. If you forgot what it looks like, let me get out of the weed so I can back up and show you. This is the donor body. It's not in bad shape. Let me show you the inside first. It's going to need some work. Uh, 
and it drives right now. So. Go to the other side so y'all can see it. So it's water break time and now we're gonna clean up before we go on to u-joints yeah so when we get ready to start putting the u-joints in we're gonna need to use the table to keep everything in line so where's the table it's under all this, oh, okay. but, but it really it really won't take that long to straighten it up here you go bub um we'll, we'll get we're gonna kind of get it all organized where we got a, a work spot and then uh get up get after the u-joints because i'd like to i think tonight we're gonna have to run up to summit racing and Arlington, which is about a two hour trip from here to get some parts that we're going to need once we get rolling. So, and we've only went up there about twice. We've only been there twice. Yeah, we we've been there twice. Do they not deliver? Like, can you not get yeah, them to ship to us? Yeah, but you don't get it till for two or three days. I mean, it's next day on some stuff, but we're not going to, we need it tonight, tomorrow or tonight or Monday night. So, this pickup has one, two, three, four, five U joints in the drive line that oh. run. Can't be on this side. Okay. Turn. So it's got a got a U joint that runs from the transfer. Uh, it's got a U joint at the transfer case, one at the rear end in the drive shaft, and then it's got three that go from the transfer case to the front drive for the, to the front axle. So today I'm going to show Clance. We've got all new U joints. I mean, we've gone this far. We might as well go ahead and fix the U, replace the U joints and all that also. So we're going to do that today. Um, so, so these are all new. These are not. Oh, okay. These are probably. I mean, that one don't even. That one's not bad, but I would hate to know that one went out right after we got through. You know what I mean, Byron? So, what part are you replacing? This is the U joint right oh, here. Okay. So, this joint right here, it's U from both sides. Okay. So it moves this way and it moves this way. Gotcha. So this end will go on this up on the transfer case and the other end will bolt in down there. Okay. So first we need to grab the, so Clance, jump up here. This is Clance's first time messing with U-joints, so I'm going to try to explain this in a... So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take these retaining clips out of here, okay? okay. So what they do is they when we put these U-bolts in like this, this keeps them from coming out, okay? So let me grab a screwdriver. I, this. I watched a guy yesterday on, yeah, just see if you can get your needle nose in there and squeeze it together and pull it out of there. That one wasn't coming. Here, hang on, try this. Yeah. There we go. Let me All try right. doing that. All right, roll it up. Hey, hang on. Let's roll it over. And we'll get this one out. So come from this way into that, yeah, under it. And just push all the way under, yeah. You're not prying up. You're, you're coming this way. Bring your screwdriver over the top. Over the top. I don't know. I did the exact same thing. Let's put that in that. Okay, so now what what we're gonna do we're just gonna tap right here. We're not tapping on this part, we're tapping here, okay? To drive that out of there. I don't know if that's, that may be all the way down. All right. So now tap on this one right here. If you're not trying to hit it hard, you're just, 
Yeah. Now, there went all the needle bearings. Did we need those? We don't need those, but go ahead. Almost there, keep going. All right. Now then that you gotta get it lined back up. And it already get in there now. Have you ever done this before? Yeah, but normally it, it'll let you take it on out of there. See, back in the day, they were built to last. Even okay. Ford was built to last back in the day. Yeah. All right, let's go ahead and get this out of here. Not now. So, what I did with that screwdriver... There you go. If you're gonna do that, you need to probably, when you get it there, you need to, yeah, see so it ain't, you can never it twist it. Cause it's still stuck down all the way around the back, back there. You know what I mean? Oh, that one's in there pretty good. those rings, those snap rings. Still broke around the back. Sure. Yeah, track them into that other one from that side. Just watch. That didn't work. Great job, Dad. Here I'm gonna actually let's get us a big socket for that. I don't want to beat on that part. Alright guys, where we're at now is they broke something on the drive shaft and Summit doesn't have it and can't get it in time for the car show. So Cody's disappointed. He's been on the phone with Summit for a while trying to figure out how he can get the truck going by Saturday. So, as soon as he gets off the phone, we'll get an update. And I gotta quit looking. We're using a new camera and I have to quit looking over here at the screen and I gotta start looking at you all. Anyway, so that's why I'm looking like that. <laughs> so, in the process of taking the U-joints apart, which is probably the first time it's been done in 40 years on this pickup. I know it's not bad, and some of you guys are going to say, well, I wouldn't, I'd drive it, but I broke the edge off of this. I can't get the focus. Maybe you should touch the screen. Anyways, no, it's not a big deal, but I'm not going to put my... 15 year old son driving everywhere in it and this drive shaft end up breaking while he's going down the road and it beat the bottom side of this pickup all the pieces that we're working on so 
I'm trying to find a new a new shaft. I mean, I can probably, you know, we could cut this off of here, put a new yoke on it, weld it up, and by the time we do all that and get it balanced and all that, we'd have the same amount of money as we would in a new one, and I'm trying to, trying to figure out a way to get that fixed, but things just don't seem to be going our way today, so when things like that happen, it's better to just say, you know what, let's just quit and go do something else. So we're gonna go race the ranch rolls against Erica's Fireball Rio. Little pasture racing, so let's go have some fun.